get ready for the dictation dictation will start in 5 seconds start there is no doubt whatever that in the interest of human civilization these weapons should not only be banned but destroyed the question is who is going to take the risk there have been appeals that as the usa was the first manufacturer nation to manufacture these dangerous weapons and use them therefore they should set an example by destroying the bombs in their possession stock filling of atomic weapons would lead to a dangerous situation and somebody therefore ought to make a start in the matter of the destruction of these weapons if moral standards are to be the guiding factor it will be a great help to humanity if this step can be taken if only there is courage to do so the ussr will have to follow suit but unfortunately there is the fear complex most nations want to protect themselves and want to guard themselves against any surprise attacks by the other side so the armaments race goes on they forget that this mentality will eventually lead to war they think that negotiations can take place only when one can speak from strength but they forget that two can play at this time so long as this view is held the armament race will go on and tension must certainly increase the conference which meets in london in a few days time on disarmament i hope will find a solution the complete banning of nuclear weapons must be the first step that any conference should strive at and i hope that under proper international supervision this step will be taken but connected with this is the question of the reduction of conventional armaments there must be a realistic approach to this problem the ussr today possesses so much strength that it should be the first to agree to reduce its land army in the interest of the good relations that should exist between nations one hopes that it will understand this position and take steps to get this done i am glad that the atomic energy commission of the united nations has recognized that india has a part to play in this field and has asked our leading nuclear scientist dr bhava to preside over the conference proposed to be held at geneva the ussr has promised to show how she has been able to set up a nuclear plant producing electric power but great steps have been taken in this connection also in the uk and the recent report on atomic power placed as a white paper before the house of commons shows that by about 1980 there will be about 12 to 13 stations working in various parts of the country to produce electricity and power for peaceful purposes this is a great step and our country will benefit by the steps that are being taken because our intention is to use atomic power for peaceful purposes stop